My name is Ben, and today I'm going to show you how to send a prescription wirelessly from the operations center and import it into a Gen 4 display and apply it to a controller. The first thing we're going to do is click on the More tab in the operations center, and we're going to go down to Files and click on it. As you can see under files, I've already created a prescription. If you need help creating a prescription through Agreen Prescription Creator, please reference other videos on our channel. I'm gonna go ahead and check mark the box next to, my, next to my prescription and hit transfer to equipment. And today we're gonna to be using an 8370RT with a John Deere Ray Controller 2000 on it spreading fertilizer. I'm gonna go ahead and Put a check in the box next to 8370RT and click on transfer. Once our prescription has been received by the display, you'll get a message saying file received ready for import. We're going to go ahead and click on the icon next to the clock with the file download icon next to it. We're going to scroll down until we see received files and it says files not yet imported one. We're going to go ahead and click on that box. From here, we're gonna click import from receive files in the, in the dot to the left and click on next. Here we can see up at the top that we have our RDO demo self prescription available. We're gonna go ahead and click on next. And then we're gonna leave a check in the box next to prescriptions and click import. going to tell us that our data has been successfully imported. We're going to click on OK. We're going to click the X in the top right hand corner of the screen. From here, we're going to click the bottom left hand setup button on the toolbar, shortcut bar. And then we're going to assume that we have our field data location plugged in at the top left and our equipment plugged in at the bottom left. On the right side, we see product name. We're going to go ahead and click where it's got the three dashes. And we're going to add fertilizer and a 2800 and click OK. Underneath that, we see target rate RX where it says controller rate. We're going to click where it says controller rate. And we're going to click on RX. And we're going to click the three dashes next to it. Here, we're going to select our prescription, our RDO demo south and go ahead and click the OK button. From this page, we're able to see our active prescription. We're able to adjust our look ahead time. I'm gonna adjust my look ahead time to two and a half seconds. Look ahead time can vary based on the implement that you're using. You can multiply your prescription under 100% would drag the total rate of the prescription down however many percent you want it to, or if you go the opposite way up, it will multiply it up. From here we can adjust our rates if we click on the box that has the min, max, no GPS, and out of range. From here we can see our rate column, rate column units, our no GPS rate, and our out of zone rate. We're going to leave our no GPS rate with a check in the box saying maintain your previous rate. What this means is if you lose GPS signal, it's gonna keep spreading at the rate that it was spreading before it lost signal. We can also uh, adjust our out of zone rate where it says zero. This is a good idea to put something in this box if you go out of a zone so your spreader keeps spreading if you would like it to. I'm gonna plug our minimum rate in in this box and click okay. I'm going to go ahead and select OK, and then I'm going to select Save. 
Now I'm going to hit OK again. And we can see that our prescription has showed up in the background of our, of our map. If you don't see the prescription right away on your map, you can go ahead and click on the three boxes in the bottom left-hand corner. And you can click the white icon with the three boxes. And you can select your map view and either select coverage or rate. If you select rate, it will show you your zones. If you click on the three boxes again with the lines, it'll show you your map legend for your prescription. Now we need to apply the rate to our controller, so we're going to go ahead and click on ISO bus VT. And then we're going to select rate setup at the top left. Inside of this box, you're going to see the rate selection is predefined. We're going to drop that menu down and we're going to select map based and select accept. Now we're able to see in the top right hand corner that prescription is selected by seeing the RX symbol. Thank you for watching. Connect with us by subscribing to Precision Ag Answers on YouTube and following RDO Equipment Company on social media. Visit rdoequipment.com for more Precision Ag resources and solutions.